Hello everyone, this is Robert from Book of Mormon Editions, where we discuss printings, publications, and various editions of the Book of Mormon. So this next Book of Mormon Edition review is an interesting one, as it's part of a new set of scriptures belonging to a unique movement of the Restoration. This is the New Covenants edition of the Book of Mormon, and the volume is used by the Remnant Fellowships. This is not to be confused with the Remnant Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, which is an alternative to the RLDS, or Community of Christ Organizations. This movement consists of various loosely organized groups with a leader by the name of Denver Snuffer. If you know that name, you are either inspired by Denver Snuffer or leery of him, as there's not much in between. The background is that Denver is a lawyer who was excommunicated after writing a few books for the Salt Lake audiences. Over time, there became a group of followers, and Denver and his movement continued to gain momentum. It continued with a few conferences, which included a committee to research, organize, and publish their own set of scriptures. Among these scriptures is an edition of the Book of Mormon called the New Covenant Edition, and it's also called the Restored Edition. This edition shown here is a soft cover, large print edition with a rich maroon earth tone cover. The front pages have a foreword listing historical background of how Denver facilitated meetings for the research projects for this book. It goes on to state how this edition is now used as a canonized edition for this group and what makes this volume unique. There is an introduction giving various details of early Book of Mormon and its validity for today's readers. The volume of the Book of Mormon is in novel paragraph form. What's interesting is that this edition follows the chapter breaks of early 1800s Book of Mormon. So for the book of 1 Nephi, it only has seven chapters. This also means that this edition follows the RLDS or Community of Christ editions in terms of chapter breaks. However, this edition breaks from others as the versing for this is very unique and it's one of a kind. The versing or paragraphs for this is very long. For example, the last chapter of 1 Nephi only has six verses, while the RLDS Community of Christ printings have 70 for the same chapter. The introduction of the Book of Mormon states that it follows the 1840 text as that was the last edition Joseph Smith edited or personally touched. There are references where there are modern day edits by Denver Snuffer and accepted by the group. They are relatively insignificant, and I guess it's for updated modern vocabulary clarity. For example, in the Book of Ether, where the brother of Jared sees the finger of the Lord, traditionally it's quoted as, quote, Never have I shown myself unto man who I have created. This is reference to mankind. The restored edition listed as, quote, And to none of those now living whom I have created have I appeared. End quote. The end of the Book of Mormon ends on page 644 with a versing correlation table between this edition and the Salt Lake edition and Community of Christ or RLDS editions. So it's interesting that this new covenant edition is part of a collection of new printings published by this movement. Among these are the Bible, mostly derived from the Joseph Smith inspired translation of the Bible. It's also updated its Doctrine and Covenants, but it's called the Teachings and Covenants, which contains the common revelations of Joseph Smith and also includes revelation also given to Denver Snuffer. So while these are outside of the scope of the Book of Mormon series, it's interesting to note, and you can research these at different editions elsewhere. Publication for this Book of Mormon and other printings by this movement is done by Print on Demand and comes in different sizes and fonts. I'm amazed that instead of warehousing large print runs, print on demand is now easier and cheaper than ever. It's always a learning lesson for me researching these various editions of the Book of Mormon, and I know I've just scratched the surface on this one and the movement behind it. Please feel free to subscribe to the series as I'll continue to post new videos, and thanks everyone for watching this one. If you have a special or unique edition of the Book of Mormon, that you'd like to see on this series, please contact me at bomeditions at gmail.com. Best wishes until next time.